Next question comes from James Spindle. Mr. Havenstein. Yep. You no, know, a lot of us were shocked at the riots at Keene State College just a couple of weeks ago. But some of the some of the law enforcement were not surprised by it. In fact, we hear that they were talking and planning about over a year that there could be some major disturbance. So if you're governor, what can you do to make sure that this doesn't happen again next year? Well, there are a couple of things we need to do. First of all, I was there when these riots took place. I showed up at 4.30 in the evening with Judy, and uh, we attended the Pumpkin Festival. I want to credit our law enforcement folks for doing an excellent job in isolating that disturbance. For those who were attending the festival, we knew it was going on because we heard it on the radio as we were coming in. But the law enforcement folks isolated that incident. Two things we need to do. We need to prepare and be planning for those kind of uh, occasions, uh, those kind of incidents. And I think in our case, we saw good planning and response by law enforcement. But we also need to be expecting higher performance from our students. We've had incidents like this in the past over at UNH and Durham. Maybe not to this extent. One of the things I really appreciate about Mark Huddleston over at UNH is he set down a whole new set of standards. And he made sure every freshman that was coming into that school knew what the expectations were and knew what would happen if they didn't fulfill those expectations. We need to do the same thing over at King State. Governor, there was planning and planning and planning, and it still happened. Do you bear any responsibility for what happened? Well, I, too, uh, appreciate very much that our law enforcement contained a very difficult and dangerous situation uh, and protected the people who were enjoying uh, the wonderful tradition of the Keene Pumpkin Fest. Uh, what we know as we uh, drill down on this, and certainly uh, all of the people involved who uh, engaged in the rioting need to be held accountable, and law enforcement is continuing their investigation, as is Keene State and other universities in the state, uh, we know that we also need uh, to investigate the role that social media and social media companies play because one of the things we are learning is that social media companies advertise for parties at places that they have no right to invite people to and people from around the region show up and in this case uh, rioting occurred as it has in some other places. So we will continue to investigate. We will continue to see what kind of civil actions we might be able to take against social media and we'll continue uh, to work with the students at Keene, to whom, many of whom came out the next day to clean up and have uh, expressed appropriate outrage at what happened uh, to make our campuses safer. All right, thank